all business financial decisions should be made in the context of the overriding goal of financial management, which is to maximize the wealth of the owners, i.e. the shareholders. This is because the shareholders have put their money at risk, own the firm and its assets, and have appointed the financial manager to act as their agent, to make decisions on their behalf and in their interests. This doesn't mean that firms should single-mindedly focus on the wealth of shareholders at the expense of other stakeholders in the firm. Often these interests are aligned. A firm should do the right thing by its employees, its customers, its suppliers, the government and the community in which it operates. But doing the right thing by these stakeholders will probably contribute to the long-term survival and prosperity of the firm. But it's important to keep sight of the ultimate goal of financial management, maximising the wealth of the owners of the firm. This goal can be expressed in two equivalent ways. Since the shareholders own the firm, maximisation of the value of the firm will maximise the wealth of shareholders. The financial decisions we will discuss throughout the remainder of this subject will be discussed in the context of these equivalent objectives.